Hey, what's up, guys? Just want to give you a quick overview of Mastery Connect and, and some of the uh, features I, th I think you'll find most beneficial. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so you'll go to masteryconnect.com and it will prompt you to log in. Go ahead and log in. Kind of come to this home screen dashboard, your little profile. You can edit it if you haven't done that. Down here is a feed, most recent activity that's, that I've done or that others uh, and you know, other teachers have also done. And then um, over here under your name, you can find the Interactive to uh, Tour, which I, I recommend. In fact, all of you should do if you haven't done it already. And then there's the help box if you need help with that. Across the top, um, you have the Mastery Tracker. This is where you find common assessments, so any other assessments, tests you want to you use or, or check out. Resource Pen then just kind of has a lot of educational tips that, that they're gathering within Mastery Connect. Um, and then Learning Community is so you can connect with other teachers of that course. We're going to go to Mastery Tracker. Now, Mastery Connect uses what they call trackers. A tracker is basically a class. So you can see I have a Science Period 1 tracker, I have a Math tracker, and I have a 7th grade Language Arts tracker. Um, trackers are for your classes, and they track standards for students. Curriculum maps are, are, is, a, is a place for you to actually organize your standards for a certain class. Um, and then finally, you can have your custom standards if you have that. Let's go ahead and, and let me show you what it, what it looks like when I first create a curriculum map from standards. So I might choose one, and let's say I'm going to do math. Let's say I'm going to do math for the seventh grade. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, share this with the community. The subject is math. The Common Core is the standards I'm going to use. You can see there's other state standards, but I'll just use traditional Common Core, and I'm going to say 7th grade. So that way it imports the Common Core standards for 7th grade. When I create this tracker, there are all the 7th grade Common Core standards um, listed sort of in, in order there. Um, I can drag these around so I can reorder the curriculum map and place the standards in the order that I'm going to teach them. Um, hovering over uh, this little dialog box lets me you know, maybe view the standard and gives me a quick access to what that standard is. I can add my own custom rewording of that standard, and then it has some quick links, like in this case, to con, con video. Um, it also, another cool thing about this is I can then group uh, by adding a unit. So I'm going to hover over this orange part. I can then group and say I have unit 1, and I'll just leave the color as gray. I can create this, this sort of unit section and then drag the, uh, the standards that I'm going to assess. Let's say I'm going to assess these two standards within um, unit 1, and maybe I'm going to pull in this standard here and, and this standard here. So this is all going to be assessed in unit 1. So now I, I can sort of order uh, the standards and when I'm going to assess them. What's cool too is this can be done or shared with your team. And so you know a couple of you can collaborate on, on ordering um, the curriculum and setting up the standards so you know when you're going to assess them. Uh, the, the, the other benefit here is you can also show them or you can also insert what you're going to assess. So let's say with, with this standard right here, I'm going to actually have an, a, an assessment that is directly related to this standard. So I'm going to go ahead and say add an assessment to that standard. And if I had my own, I could add my own assessment. But let's just say I don't have one for right now. I'm going to go find one. It will automatically search for that standard, and it will start pulling up assessments that other people have uploaded. Mr. Kyle Ferguson has uploaded this. And this one is, is directly related to that single standard. You'll also notice sometimes you get substandards that have, or, or you have a standard, and then you have multi-standard assessments. So maybe if I just want one directly related to the standard, I'm going to open it up real quick and just check it out and make sure it's what I, it's what I, I want. So real quick browsing this, I can see, is this the standard? Is it addressing the standard I want? Um, the standard says analyzing proportion relationships and use them to solve real-world problems. Okay, so not really real world problems, but it is analyzing the relationships here. So I like that. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the curriculum map. So choosing the map, I can insert it into um, the curriculum map. And so now you can see, with along with a unit that has sorted the standards, I also have the actual assessment inserted into the curriculum. And once I have that set up and I do that for all of my standards, I can then um, create a tracker from this curriculum map. So math, 7th grade, I might give it a description. This might be period 1, and I'm going to make it purple. And normally I would import from uh, SIS, which you don't see that option here right now, but I would, I would import from SIS. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to create it by adding individual students myself. Create the tracker. The tracker gets created. And now I'll show you what the tracker looks like. I'll make a test student here just so we have an example going on. ID is going to be ID number 1. So if you, if you use the SIS import, then it will, it will import all your students for your, for your class. So here is unit 1, and then sliding over. I'm sorry, you can see my unit 1 is first section. Unit 2 is around here. Um, I do wish they had that boxed off. Now all the other standards are showing. If I just want to, I can hover over here, and I can, I can sort of turn off all these standards. And then just turn on um, unit 1. So now there's just unit 1. And I can turn on unit 1 and unit 2. There's unit 1 and there's unit 2. So you can see right here I have one assessment attached to this standard, and these other ones don't have assessments as attached to it. So when I'm ready to go, I can hover over this. I can say I'm, I'm going to run this or perform this assessment right here. This is that assessment. It gets a unique ID. This ID can be used if you're having your students use their iPads or something for taking the assessment through their iPad um, or through the website. You can have them do that. You can um, print off bubble sheets, and, and then they can fill that out, and then you can scan those things using the, 
the camera scanner here. It's, it, it's really quick to scan, and um, you just hold the paper up and make the scan. It's pretty sweet. You can also just insert the score, and once you insert the score, it immediately tells you if they're near mastery or above mastery, which, you know, all those settings can be set. Um, of course, I'm just, I just inherited the settings that the uh, Mr. Kyle Ferguson gave during his, his tracker. Um, so now that I have that sort of inserted, if, if I didn't like that or if maybe I needed to go actually put in, um, you know, the letter score, I can insert, you know, he got an A, B, C, D, D, and it will save that. It will rescore that, and you can see actually I got a 3 now. So I'm in remediation. Going back to the class view, if I have multiple students in here, you'll be able to see all those different students and where they're at um, with, their, uh, with their tracker. So I can see test student is, is 1 and 0. Let me jump all the way back to trackers, and I'll show you. Here's a, my science period 1, just another example. example. I had two assessments done here, and you can see two of my students in remediation, one of them mastery. And then also I had two assessments on this one, uh, although Jared, student number two, didn't actually take this, this assessment here, and so you don't see a score for him. So, you know, sometimes you don't need to, to have them rescored. Sometimes you do, and so that's, that's where we're at. So in a nutshell, Mastery Connect allows you to find assessments, allows you to, to map your curriculum, set up a curriculum map, for your standards, and then it allows you to track those standards across all your classes. Now, you might use it for formative assessments, you might use it for summative assessments, you might use it as just the, the way to, to track to see if your students are mastering um, their, your standards. Thanks for listening, and good luck tracking.